This video is all about making a cheap CD or DVD label. As you can see, I've got a CD sitting on uh, this Exacto pad. And I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you exactly what we're going to do. I've got a couple instruments. I've got a couple instruments here. It is a, uh, this is a compass cutter. And basically what it does is cuts a circle out on a sheet of paper. Now one of the tricks that I have right here, this one's actually set at 11.8 centimeters. As you'll notice on the CD, the lines beneath it are perfectly intersect at the middle of the circle. And what you can do to measure uh, the outside is simply stick your compass cutter in the middle and then see how far it goes out to the, to the plastic uh, edge on your CD. I don't know if you can see that but again uh, this is set at 11.8 centimeters and I've actually got two of these because I do a lot of labeling so I've got one set at 11.8 and I have another one that's set at 3.4 centimeters. Now what I'm going to show you is I've already printed off a a standard label that I would use or something like I would use um, Forgive the graphic design, but that's not what this video is about. It is about a cheap label. So I've printed this out. The dimensions are 4.75 inches by 4.75 inches. As you'll notice, there's a red dot in the center. And that's as it used as a guide to make sure that I'm cutting from the center. And usually I don't make it this big. It came out pretty big, and I just left it because uh, it's for a tutorial purpose. Usually I make it a lot smaller, but again, it's better than centering, uh, you know, centering from the whole uh, label itself. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is cut this out. It's a very simple process. First, you take your larger uh, compass cutter and you want to light it up in the center of that dot and then what you want to do is go ahead and cut the outside you'll notice it leaves a little bit out there that's okay just make sure when you're designing it that you uh, account for that and some of this is trial and error you may mess up a few before you get it I did so not a big deal so now we're left with the outer uh, cut that's done. Then all we simply do is use the same hole we just used. And if you're only using one compass cutter, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, set it to the proper diameter and simply make the same kind of cut. And you want to be careful and you want to hold it down pretty good so it's uniform all the way around. Sometimes they don't always come out perfect. Depending on what that's for, you know, if it's for a family DVD or something like that, it really doesn't have to be perfect. You know, if it's for a demo CD that you're selling for three bucks, it really doesn't have to be perfect. What I do if I get what I call a little doodad on there is take an X-Acto knife and go ahead and cut that off. Do a little fine tuning on it. Now we have a cheap label and I'm going to show you how to apply this label with some spray adhesive. Okay now guys what we're going to do is I've got the label right here. What we're going to do is go ahead and apply it to the CD and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and spray that on the back. Now you want to make sure you uh, you do this liberally to make sure that it covers your disc. Okay, it's got quite a bit on there. The cool thing about it is it's tacky. It's not super, super sticky. It's tacky, which I think helps in the long run. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff 
for visualization purposes. Now, I bought this because as most of us do, uh, we buy that kit. Now, what I do is I take the X-Acto knife and uh, put it on here just like that. Line it up as you would one that came with the kit. The reason I started doing this was that the refills were very expensive. Not only that, but I could never get my printer to line up just quite like I wanted it to. With this, it comes out pretty good every time. So you just stick the CD on there as you would uh, with the other kind of label. Press it down. Turn it over. And make sure it's on there good and tight. Now, doesn't look too bad, I don't think. And uh, I've made quite a few of these. Never had any issues. Uh, believe it or not, I've never had any issues with it actually um, getting stuck. I know somebody has, has you know, asked me if it would get stuck. If you apply that spray adhesive liberally, like I said, this label's on there really good. Like I said, it's very tacky. And once it's on there, once it's dry, um, it's, it's virtually impossible to get this label off of here. So, again, um, you can use any kind of paper that you want to. Uh, I use premium paper for mine. It's not that much more expensive. We're talking pennies here compared to what you would spend. So, again, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. And uh, check out my other ones. Thanks.